golden locks and the magical rocks by Gary H. Holt. In a dusty little village, once upon a long, long time ago, there lived a girl named Golda who wore a very special robe. The rope like strands grew long and wild, but cut them, she would not. So in her village far and wide, they called her Golda Lops. Golda grew hungry one day, for wild goats had eaten all the ropes. She tried and tried, but could not find a thing to fill her pot. Standing to the left of Golda's hut, a striking tower tall, where lived Salvatore Sintosa, the richest man of all. Golda pondered on her neighbor. Surely he could spare just a little bit of food. So she wandered over there. Now behold this special story, look out for hidden gems. As Golda approaches Salvatore, is where the tale begins. Good day, my kindly neighbor. Have you any food to spare? I have not eaten anything in what feels like a year. No food here, you're out of luck. I'm sorry, we have none. I've just been in my pantry and all the food is gone. I'm so sorry to be a bother, sir. I will now go on my way. Thank you, very kindly. And do have a lovely day. Wait, hold on. What's that you've got? Do you always walk around with an empty pot? This pot is not empty, not at all. Listen how it knocks. For in this pot is where I keep all of my magical rocks. Magical rocks? What do you mean? Go on, tell me. I'm really keen. Look, with my little rocks, red, yellow, green, I can conjure up magic that delights you dream. What? Wow, show me how. What? What? You mean now? Yes, won't you show me please? How can you make magic from these? First we need a fire, ignite the soul. Then we need spices, herbs and cloves. The pot goes here, the rocks within, a little water and the magic begins. Herbs and spices, cloves and all. Oh, if only we had a bit of salt. I do have salt. Here, you can have it. Now show me. Where is this wonderful magic? A bit of sweet, a bit of leek. If only we had a bit of beef. I do have beef. Here. You can have it. I can't wait to see this marvelous magic. Onion slice, splish splash. If only we had a bit of squash. I do have squash. Here, you can have it. Where, oh, where is this wonderful magic? Now, won't you listen? What do you hear? Oh! I hear it bubbling up! It's really, really near! Good! The time to show is really soon. We will need bowls and a couple of spoons. A bowl for you, a bowl for me. The time has come for us to see. Abri, Kitabri! Kitabri Deluxe! Behold what has come from my magical rocks! Wow! 
it's so creamy, so rich, so nice. Mmm, smells like heaven. My taste buds delight. They both had their fill and then had some more. Then Goldo took what was left when she went through the door. And it was not then, but days after that, when Salvatore realized the smarts of Goldilocks outsmarted by a peasant his pride took a blow and from that day onwards he never told her no and with each passing day if there was any food to spare he would gather what he had and with golden he would share what do you think of golden guys do you think she was clever do you like how she tricked Salvatore into cooking her food? Salvatore lied! He said he didn't have any food, but he did! And Golda tricked him into cooking for her. Golda was smart. She made sure that her hungry belly got food. I'll see you tomorrow for the next story.